Construction is continuing on the new Vigo County Jail. You may have noticed the new jail looks complete from the outside, but the inside is a different story. News Sense Tucker White joins us live from the construction site with an inside look. Good morning, Tucker. Well, Heather, we're still about six months out from inmates being moved into the jail, but as you can see, the outside of the jail is pretty much finished. Now the focus is on finishing the inside. I mean, it's good because that's it's something we needed for, you know, over 40 years. Now, after 40 years, Vigo County is about six months out from being fully moved into the jail they need. Construction began almost two years ago on December 26th, 2019. And as Sheriff John Palassi can tell you, it's been an uphill battle. I mean, there were some delays because of uh, materials, just the delay getting it here. There were some delays because of COVID, people being out, um, also from production someone making an item that the jail needs, that factory or that company may have been out of business for a while just because of COVID. Even though construction has had to deal with a lot of adversity, they have still managed to keep the original deadline date. That has kind of affected a little bit, but um, the construction manager, Garmong, has done a great job of shifting things around when they're waiting for something that's not here yet, they move on to something else. Construction will be completed in March, and the plan is to start moving the sheriff's office in in May. But before that can happen, construction crews need to put the finishing touches on the jail's plumbing and electrical work. And that's obviously covered with plastic right now. But, um, but when you come to the jail for any kind of business, you'll come here for jail business. For sheriff's office business, you'll go over here. After the sheriff's office is fully moved in, they will then be bringing inmates in. That's expected to be happening around June or July. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Tucker White, News 10.